bread. Mm. Bags are for groceries. Mm. Yes, I know. There's probably groceries in here. Hey guys, Brad with Custom Offsets. Got episode lifts and levels for you. Uh, this one's gonna be about airbags here. We got a customer who's got this 2017 F350 dually and he plans on towing a pretty big boat with this. So he wanted to do something in the rear of the truck to help raise it up when it's loaded down to pre prevent it from squatting. So he's gonna go with this airbag system. This is airlift, uh, airlift's what we use here. This is their load lifter 5000 series. And basically this is a bolt on kit and what it does is, uh, it basically goes in place of where the factory bump stops were. And you got all these bracket, brackets that go on here. I believe it actually goes this way. And you'll have the airbag sit there on the rear axle uh, in between the axle and the frame. And when the truck's loaded down, it'll compress these bags and you add air pressure in the bags to then lift the truck back up pretty straightforward. Uh, they've been using airbags for years on pickups, even longer on semi trucks. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this installed on the truck and uh, help this guy out so he can tow his boat, you know, in the winter. guys so when you're doing an airbag setup uh, obviously you have the airbags which are going to be uh, basically the helper spring portion of the kit that will uh, lift the rear of the truck but the other piece of the puzzle is going to be the air management system which airlift offers a couple different kinds and so what this is going to be is a way to add air to the bags um, remotely so traditionally I guess the old school way was you basically just had a manual Schrader valve, usually run to the bumper of the truck and you just fill it up with a regular air nozzle like you would your tires. But nowadays everyone does an air management system that has an onboard compressor and a way to control it with this manifold here. Uh, this is their wireless one system that Airlift has is what it, this one's called. And how it works is it's actually pretty nice. You just actually use this little wireless remote here. It's got a little clip on it. Put it up on your sun visor there and then you actually dial in your um, air pressures. And I believe there's some presets as well. So if you want to air it up a little, you just hit the button, up, up, up. And then the compressor will kick on. And then the manifold will basically allow then the air from the compressor into the bags, or it would allow air out of the bags. And it's really nice to give you this nice wiring harness that's already all pre-made with the relay and everything. And then it's got a plug on it here. And all you got to do is run some power and grounds for that. And then find somewhere to mount the compressor and then mount the manifold as well. All in the instructions there. But yeah, this is pretty much the other piece of the puzzle when you do airbags. So you always have the airbags itself, so the bags and brackets, etc., for the rear. And then um, then you got the air management system or the compressor and a way to control it. And that's what this one's gonna be. Like I said, Airlift offers a bunch of different options. So there's a price range is kind of all over the place depending on how fancy you want to get. But this one's a really nice wireless kit and uh, that's what this customer decided to go with. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> so we already got the bags installed on the truck, uh, on the axle and everything. And the next step was just running lines for your air system here for the compressor and whatnot. So we're getting that all installed in the truck there and then we're gonna get the air management system installed and uh, we're gonna go check it out. Mm -hmm. 